let's go, let's go, let's go. Ay, yeah, you know I'ma talk my. Ay, you know I'ma talk my. Ay, yeah, yeah. My name is yeah. Charlie. Yeah. yeah. I like to bowl. Yeah. And when I'm around, yeah. You're gonna fall. Oh, yeah. yeah. The DC Queens, this 20, 2031, 2031, what, what, 2031, 2031, 2031. Yes, Squid, man, we starting it off, man. We got the DC Queens in the house, the national 21, 2031 team, man. It's, we doing something different today. Yeah, we, we got doing something different, man. You, you know, you really can't talk about grassroots program if you don't talk about the DC Queens. Right, you man. know, DC Queens has been a staple in the, in the city for a long, long time, pretty much around the state. So it's just a pleasure to have them, man. Man, these girls, they bring such a vibe. Hey, hey, ladies, y'all, uh, what was the other little little thing y'all was doing just, like, it wasn't, a, wasn't nobody talking. Y'all had a nice little beat going a while ago. Oh, hey. get that going for me. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that one. Hey. 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 They're the one of the best teams Stick in the country. The basketball. <laughs> they, yeah, yeah, they, hey, the hey, look here. If, if, if they relax like this on the court, man, I know it's got to go hard to deal with. Oh, man, it's going to be hard to deal with. You got a lot of personalities in here, a lot of confidence, a lot of energy. So I can just ima imagine what it's like when they're in a championship game. You know, it wouldn't be uh, it wouldn't be possible, man. You got a um, a great coach in Mike Cooper, man. He's a staple in the community, man. He's been doing things with uh, young kids for a long, long time. Coach Mike, why don't you just introduce yourself to the Baseline Talk podcast? All right, how y'all doing? My name is um, Coach Mike Cooper. Uh, from New Orleans, Louisiana. Um, an implant in Dallas, Texas. Um, been coaching 27 years. Mm. Um, just a blessing to be a blessing. Um, had a motorcycle accident. Uh, 2004 that left me paralyzed was only given a 5% chance to live so each day I'm here is a blessing so I'm just um, happy to be here and happy to um, have this opportunity to play a small role in these kids lives that's awesome man Swift man you know that's uh, that's 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 remarkable man it's very inspirational like like coach Mike said he had a he had an accident uh, maybe close to 19 20 years ago and he didn't let that hold him back, man. He's still giving back to the community and everything. He's uh, he's been working with youth for for you know, like he said, 27 years. He didn't let the accident, you know, slow him down. And actually, kind of sped him up. If you ask me, man, you know what I'm saying? You actually kind of sped him up. Beep beep, huh? <laughs> yeah, Mike. You know, um, it is an inspiration. But also, I just kind of want to ask you, what what ignited you starting? Coach, to start coaching girls basketball. I know you've been with DC Queens for a long time and a staple, but what had what really got it started for you? Um, you know, I was a knucklehead growing up in New Orleans, so I had a lot of coaches that took the time um, to be involved in my life and really had a huge impact on my life. Um, and really, I think they saved my life and kept me out of a lot of trouble coming up. So after my accident, I knew I was left here for a reason. So it was important for me to make sure that I was doing my, my part 
and giving back to the community. Um, I was primarily coaching boys early on. And once my daughter started playing, I converted to the girls' side mm. and been coaching girls since 2004. So, yeah, I mean, I, I I even remember your daughter. You know, she was a really good shooter as well. Yes, sir. So, um, before we introduce the girls, you know, I just kind of wanted to just talk a little bit about what I think of of the team. You know, I, I watch them a little bit and see them on Instagram. And every time you look up, they're playing in the championship game and winning championships. So, I mean, it's just it's just a pleasure to have y'all here today. And I feel, I know that y'all can ex inspire a lot of other young girls like yourselves. So I just, you know, I, I want to give the parents a shout out for bringing y'all And actually, y'all look good today. I just have to tell y'all, y'all looking good with them t-shirts on. You know, I got your back t-shirts. Y'all looking real good. But I want everybody to introduce themselves. But as y'all introduce yourselves, I want y'all to kind of tell us what y'all bring to the team, to the table. And some of it can be the same thing. Some might be uh, idea. You know, some some things can be I, I'm, I'm a rebounder or I'm a emotional leader or I shoot the ball, you know, just kind of tell me what you feel that you are to this team as you introduce yourself. I'm going to start with Coach Anthony. I'm going to start with you, Coach Anthony. I'm Coach Anthony Howard. Um, I just love these girls and just love to see them work and try everything that I can to help out to assist Coach Cooper on whatever he needs to help these girls get better. Teamwork make the dream work. I'm Bailey, and I play defense on, yeah. So you're a defensive stopper. You're a defensive stopper, huh? Yes. Okay. Clank, clank. Lock them up, B. <laughs> Hi, my name is Charlie, and I'm a rebounder, and I bring good energy to the team. Yeah, yeah. My name is Peyton. Um, I'm a good putback. I'm a good defense. Um, rebounder, good, yeah. <laughs> good job, babe. My name is Vi. I'm a shooting guard, and I bring a lot of points to the team. Okay. 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 <laughs> My name is Jada, and I'm a point guard, and I like to shoot. Okay. I'm Sarah, and I'm. I have good energy to the team, and I do a lot of good rebounding with the team. My name is Shelby, and my name is Shelby, and I I rebound. I'm a rebounder. What about shooter. some handles? Okay. And I'm a good handler. Hi, my name is Trinity. Hi, my name is Trinity, and I bring a lot of laughter to the team, and I'm a good shooter. <laughs> my name is Yaya. I, I steal the ball a lot, and I You're going to jail for stealing. That's against the law. <laughs> and I love shooting the ball. I know we got some scores in here. My name is Layla, and um, I'm an all-around player. I bring a lot of good energy to the team, and that's really all I got to say, but I look forward to the 23-24 season with these girls. One of the things that makes this group special is um, we'll play four games in the tournament, and every game you'll have a different leading score. They bought into to the team concept, and they play unselfish, and they just make the right basketball play. So it's not just an eye or one person scoring. I mean, you look up, you got seven girls that are in close to double figures. You know what I'm saying? These girls are really buying in to the team concept and fighting for each other. Even if you look at their shirts, they shirts say, um, I got your back. And mm -hmm. one of their chants, they say, they say, who got my back? I got your back. Who got my back? I got your back. Who got my back? I got your back. All right. That's and what I'm that's talking how they rock about and right roll. there. All right, oh. what's up, ladies? What's up, folks? What's up, ladies? <laughs> what's up, folks? Yeah. yeah. Crocodile. 
that's what I like, that energy. I mean, I feel like that's, that's what it's all about, especially at this age. Y'all bringing passion. Y'all bringing a love for the game. And uh, I'm just impressed with Coach Cooper and how he just fires y'all up and gets y'all excited. And, and y'all in unison, too. You know, y'all know what to do. So it's like y'all been playing together for a long time. So how long have this team been together, Mike? Uh, I've had three of them, Jada, Yaya, and Vod since the second grade. And okay. the rest of the group has primarily been since the third grade. Since, so this oh, will be that's going good. into their third year. So, so do you recognize the chemistry out there on the floor when they're playing? Oh, most definitely, most definitely. Like I said, they, they've all bought in um, to the team concepts. They play team ball, very unselfish, um, team defense. Um, even when I'm trying to correct them, they're making sure that they're picking each other up and supporting each other. So that's a good thing that they're holding each other not only accountable, but they're picking each other up and supporting each other. So that's a good thing, especially with younger girls like that. You don't have um, like the negative or the bickering and the, they're competitive in practice, but it's a good competition. Gotcha. Where it's pushing each other and making them stronger. Okay, Mike, we're talking to the grassroots parents out there. When starting a team or when, when building a team, what do you feel like is some of the most important uh, things that you may need to do and to, to build a really well-rounded team as far as the uh, coming to practice, as far as the parents, you know, you know, because I know you deal with a lot of stuff when it comes to this. You deal with attitudes, you know, they love their kids, they're passionate about their kids, so, you know, sometimes that kind of turns different. So what, what do you feel is important? Um, one of the biggest things is just communication. Um, just being clear in the beginning about expectations, goals, and um, what's expected from everyone, from myself to the players and the parents. And one of the things that has made this group successful is the parents. We have a great group of parents who have bought in and have been 100% supportive of everything we got on, even when um, I've dragged them to practice outside in 100 degree weather. They've all been there, probably cursing me out, but they've been there. So that's the most important thing. And they do whatever's needed for these girls. And like I said, that communication early on, just making sure everybody's on the same page, working toward a common goal. And, and with this team, do you feel like you have serious players? I mean, do you feel like your, most of your players are kind of just doing this just to have fun and play high school ball and, and then, you know, nah. go to be students? Or what, what do you think is the goal for this, this, most of these players? Well, I'm, I'm not coaching at the YMCA, so this is a select group. Okay. And um, these girls have serious aspirations of playing ball at a high level. So they work and they compete at a high level. Gotcha. Um, the dedication and the work ethic of this group is special. Um, like I mentioned to you earlier, we were doing individual workouts this summer with one or two players. I had nine, ten girls show up to an individual workout. So they've all bought in um, to putting in that work and just getting better. Okay, Layla, I got a question for you. Um, y'all play. Y'all had a long summer this year. I just kind of want you to kind of explain, how, in your in your own opinion. What was the, the best tournament that you played in this summer? And why was it the best tournament that you played in? This is later, right? Layla? Okay. Mm -hmm. oh, it's, it's, it's fine. Okay. My favorite tournament during the summer was most likely the best of the best because there was a lot of competition and um, Yeah, it was a lot of competition. So and was it some tough games? Yeah, it was a lot of tough games, and we were really were, we was ready for that, and we came out and handled business. Where was this best of the best play? Uh, at Trinity Basins. Where? Trinity Basins. Oh, okay. So what are some of the teams that y'all played against that was really good? Um, we played Hustle. Is Hustle? Are they from here? Fort Worth. Four word, okay. Yeah. I got a, uh, I got a, uh, uh, a question for for any any, any of the young ladies. Uh, did, you, did you guys travel out of town? Did you have any yes. tournaments outside yes. of Dallas? Yes. 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 You did. Okay. Uh, who wants to tell me a little bit about that? Go ahead. Tell us about that that tournament. Where was it? And you know how you did? And uh, how was you know the experience as far as being out of town in the hotels and all the other stuff with your with your teammates? Um, so we was in San Antonio, mm -hmm. and they're like sisters to me. They really are like sisters. Um, so we work. We work. We don't just 
come 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 just to play. We we work. We don't um we don't give up. We don't give up that easily. We don't. Um So it's a business trip. You're going out to, to take care of business. Yes. You said like sisters. What what makes you feel like they're like sisters to you? They they like I got your back. Okay. Okay. <laughs> they got your back. Okay. And y'all have fun together. Is it just basketball? Or y'all friends outside of the team? Mm -hmm. Cell phone, I be calling all of them. Group chat. Okay. Swimming. Um Dave and Bust. We just be everywhere with each other. Like we give um presents to everybody on their birthdays and all that. Yeah, we try to make sure we spend a lot of time off the court together. Um, that way they just have a, a good close relationship so when they do play together on the court, you can tell that closeness. Yeah, well, I, I, I've seen on social media some of the uh, off the court activities, some of the, some of the times that you guys are having fun. And it's not just, it's not just the, uh, the girls. I mean, it's, it's, it's their parents, it's their families, it's their, it's their brothers and sisters and, and so forth. And the reason why I brought that question up, because it's, it's more than just the, uh, the, the, the 32 minutes of, of, of play. It's, it's sisterhood, it's, it's about forming relationships with each other, lifelong relationships. Uh, and everything. So again, that's, that's a testament to uh, you know Coach Mike, uh, you know making it more than just about basketball. It's a testament to the to the parents that uh, you know allow the kids to you know uh, these players not only be excel on the court but off the court as as friends and sisters and everything. Yeah, it, it's it's bigger than basketball. You know, especially on the girls' side, they're only going to play so many years. Even if they go on to play collegi collegially or professionally, you're looking at 30 years old. So after that, they still got 30, 40 more years of life. So you want them to be able to win on and off the court. So with basketball, it's just a tool we try to use to equip the knowledge and skills they need to be successful on and off the court. So uh, are you guys like taking a break right now? Or you, you got a fall season coming up? Or how, how, what, 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 is, what do you yeah, guys got planned? We finished um, the last tournament, the best of best, the first weekend of August. Um, we taking the rest of August off just to let their bodies rest and recover. And then we'll start back up after Labor Day. We awesome. have a big um, regional tournament, the ladies ball, um, toward the end of September. So we're looking forward to that. It's some good national competition. Okay. And do you have a tournament uh, uh, that you host coming up in October or anything yes, like sir. that? Yes, sir. We have uh, the 12th annual um, Ball and Four Cure Breast Cancer Tournament, mm -hmm. October 7th and 8th in DeSoto. Awesome, awesome. And um, how, how can uh, other teams that, uh, you know, want they shot at this great team, how can they find out about that tournament? And um, They could go on the website, um, DC Sports Exposure Events, and um, just click the link and log in. Okay. 12th annual Ball and Four Cure. So is, is every, so everybody currently in the fifth grade? Yes, sir. Yes. Everybody's in the fifth grade. How long has this team been together? Like the, you know, like this will be their third year. Third year as together. A whole, yes, sir. Third year together. That means they started what? Third, third grade. grade. Second, yeah. Third grade. A couple. I had three that started second grade, and the rest third grade. Wow, that's 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 awesome. Uh, uh, so I, was, I just wanted. So who who uh, uh, who who's the like. The, the rebounder, who does the all the good, dirty work? That's that's one that, you know. Oh, you, you the rebounder, huh? So, right, I'm going to give you the mic. I'm going to let you answer a couple questions for me. So, what goes through your mind when the ball is in the air and there's another girl that's that's right there in that vicinity and she's bigger than you? So, what's, what, you know, tell us what you're going to do to get that rebound. What's, what goes through your mind? Box out and look for the point guard. You got you got to box out, and you can't just like stand in front of her, cause then she gonna catch the ball right, right uh, on top of your head, and uh, then go right back up. And then there's two points, and then I be looking at Coach Coop, he be like, Kaden, <laughs> <laughs> you got to box out, you got to box out, you got to look for the point guard, look for Jada, look for uh, Ba. Awesome, awesome. Okay, now who, who? Who who the, who's the diver on the floor? Who's who's going? Who's saving the loose balls? Who's diving for loose? Okay, give you give it up. Who Bailey? Oh, let's go. We got two of them. Okay, Bailey, Bailey, Bailey. So the ball ball is on the floor. You got another little scrappy girl, uh, and it's you know it's it's, it's it's a free ball. So what makes? Tell me how you're going to get the ball uh, uh, as opposed to the to the other kid out the ball. What's, what's what goes to your mind? Go 
go in to grab the ball and try to find someone to pass it to. Okay, what, what if she got like one step ahead of you to, to go get the ball? What are you, I mean, are you going to, are you going to dive early? What, what goes through your mind? How do you get the ball instead of her? Like, and she just one step ahead of you. You, you faster than her or jump out? I mean, what, what, what is it? What do you do to get the ball? Uh, be strong and try to dive on the floor to get it before she gets it. Awesome, awesome. Right, who else is a uh, I was going to say, if you don't mind. Go ahead, um, go ahead. Ladies, y'all tell me what you think you could work on and improve this season to be a better player individually and a better teammate. So who, who wants to take first Layla? shot at that? Let's give her the mic. Who got the hand up? Layla. All right. We can go down the road, let all of them say it. I want to hear this. Go ahead. Go ahead, Sam. Yeah. What, what, you, what we need to do to get better. Yeah, individually and as a teammate. Well, individually for me, it would be like, Communicate to the other team, like to the team, work on like the attitude, like the bad attitude, make it good for the team. Okay. Because if you have bad attitude, it's going to hurt the whole team, not just yourself. Good job. Good job. Oh, I like that. Awesome. 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 What's your name again? Sarah. Okay, Sarah. What makes you, what, what's going to make you better? Jay. What's up, somebody said Sarah? Uh, her name is who just spoke. So. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Okay, Jay. Yeah. Yeah, she's on the floor. Um, individually for me, I got to talk to my teammates. Um, cause I'm a point guard, so I gotta communicate with them better, and working on my hat duels. Uh, we have to fix our attitude for a team. So yeah. Awesome. Yeah, that's that's right. Your name again before you answer. Bye. Bye. Okay. Bye. Tell us. Make sure you speak into the mic. Individually is just working on my handles and my skill, and looking up the court when somebody's open, and. The team just, yeah, the attitude and the positivity. Awesome, awesome job. Okay. Um, Peyton, Peyton. Uh -huh. Um, for me, I'll say um, constructive criticism and um, handling, and um, I'll say talking. We do do talking, but we need to do like more. Like who got ball and um, who's in the middle and somebody behind you and okay. yeah. Okay, good, good. Um, my name is Charlie, and yeah, my name is oh my bad. <laughs> <laughs> and what me individually, what I'm working on is being consistent with. Um, what I do during games and also talking because if somebody is in the wrong spot or if they're where I need to be, I need to like tell them where they need to be. Oh, good job. All right, good job. Good job. Good job. It's almost like y'all be listening sometimes, huh? <laughs> well, I tell you. All right. My name is Bailey, and what I, as an individual player, need to work on is my ball handling and getting the rebound and going back up. Awesome. Awesome. Okay. Right. Me individually, I'm working on being more aggressive and communicating to to teammates. And if they're in the wrong spot, I can help them. Or or or, or if they're in my spot. Where they need to be. Okay. My name is Trinity, and I'm working on individually is keeping my eye to and checking good. And then what the team needs to do, then we need to all start communicating more on the court. My name is Yaya. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh. My name is Yaya. Yeah. For the for an individual team. Uh, Speak up. For an individual player, I need to work on my ball handling and how to, if it's a one v one, to how to get to the basket by doing basketball moves. Yeah. Good job. Individual. Well, my name is Layla, and individually, I need to work on 
my attitude because all of us are leaders, and if one person has their head down, then everybody's head is down, and we're not a team anymore. We're just lost, and um, yeah. yeah. So, so what I got out of that baseline talk podcast, listeners, this is uh, 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 this is a lo- why a lot of coaches, you know, are in are in the game at this at this level. Uh, you know, uh, these kids obviously they still love the game. They love to listen. They they coach great. They understand you know their roles. They understand what they need to work on. They understand what they're great at and everything. And um, what I can see without having ever been to a practice and everything, I got you know the the parents are bought in and everything. And uh, I, I'm just going to say to the parents, uh, keep it up, keep it up. Uh, you know, uh, obviously it, it's working. Uh, I've been in the girls' basketball space and loved it at this at this stage, uh, and they're grounded right now, very very well grounded, and this is what they're going to need to to you know uh, as they get into middle school and junior high, uh, middle school and high school rather, and going on off to college, you know, uh, because we we both know when you get sometimes you get to high school, it's, it's they haven't gotten what these girls are getting. And it's almost impossible to uh, to help to help the players at that age, you know. You know what I got by listening to this this team is it's good and bad to me. I kind of like it, but I, I I think there's a lot of attitudes on this team. A lot of lot of <laughs> little bad attitudes. You get bad out there, want to you know want to fight. I ain't saying that's you know I'm not saying that's a. Uh, uh, it's good, but at the same time, you know, y'all competing, so yeah. I understand that y'all young, and y'all will have attitudes sometimes, so just understand that, but now it just helps y'all realize what y'all need to work on, all right? But y'all wouldn't be as talented as y'all are if y'all didn't have a little feistiness to y'all, if y'all didn't have a little nastiness, so that's good, you know, because when we get to the college level, they looking for that. They looking for an attitude, but they looking for it to be controlled, all right? So, who the mean? Who the mean girls on the team? Who, who the, who's one of the, some of the meanest little? Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> like right there. Okay, there we go. There we go. Oh, that, hey, like it's all right. It's all right. But guess what? The first thing you said was, "Hey, I need to work on my attitude." That's cool. You realize, it, right? So, are you mean because you be wanting to win, or are you mean because you get mad at girls when they fouling you? What what make you? What what make you? You know, get mad like this. Just tell, tell me why you get mad sometimes. Damon, real quick, we got a, several of them that are perfectionists, and when they make mistakes or things don't go their way, they don't know how to channel that energy. Okay. So it's not so much yeah, not like one. mad wanting to fight or anger. <laughs> um, it's just they they competitive and they wow. perfectionists. So when they make a mistake or they don't make a play that they expect themselves to make, they get mad, and a lot of times they'll be mad with themselves, but just that negative body, mm-hmm. yeah, that body language and energy, you know, trickles down and affects their teammates. So when we talk about those attitudes, a lot of times it's internally, you know what I'm saying? Well, we got to fix it ourselves and work on, you know, being able to shake off that play and move on to the next play. So it's not not so much fighting and just right. anger. Right. It's just being able to channel, the, channel that said, energy, yeah, yeah. and being able to take it, shake it off, and get on to that next play. Mm-hmm. Get mad and do something about it. Go ahead. My so bad. What was the question? Um, I don't get just mad at my teammates. I get it's because I'm competitive and I want to win. And I just want to make them tougher and feistier. Okay. So so sometimes what, what do you see out there or what happens in the game to kind of make you feel that way? Um, like, like. Like we always don't have good reps. Like some reps are just just hired to be hired. Like some reps are the same. Some not gonna call the same thing. Some are gonna call the right thing. Some are gonna call bad calls. But you some you gotta just deal with it and keep going. Cause most of the time you're going seven on five. That's true, that's true. Because, you know, I used to get pissed off about that too, Layla. So I understand sometimes the refereeing do be a little difficult. But like what Mike was saying is, you know, as you grow and get older, you got some, you, you'll you become a professional one day. And and what he is explaining is body language. Because body language is everything. Once you master, once you train yourself how to control that body language, you got, it's half the battle right there. You know, you might be really 
pissed off in your mind, but if you just let your body language act like, I ain't worried about it, you can still be kind of mentally mad, but at the same time, you want your body language to pre present something positive, okay? So that's good, and that's good good advice for uh, Coach Coop, you know, just working on that body language, being competitors. It's understood, you know. I coached with Coach Mulkey for a long time. She, she's fiery. She's a firecracker, and she loved competitive girls. She loved girls that wants to get after it, be competitive, you know, want to win. So, but she's big on body language. So if you pounding or if you shutting down, that's a no-no, especially when you're trying to get recruited. And I know a lot of y'all want to play in college. Yeah, and we done made a lot of progress with that. That's you know, cool. that two years ago, we'll get down 2-0 in the game over with. Mm -hmm. You know, as soon as they get down, they, they out of the game. And we done been down double digits and, and come back several games. I mean, we had a nice little run this spring and summer. We only lost two games the whole spring and summer. So. That's good. That's well, co Coach Mike, who's the uh, – who, who sell the front row tickets? You know, so who – and by, by, by front row tickets, I'm saying, like, shoot the three and leave their hand up in the air, or yeah. throw the no-look pass, the behind the back. So it's got to be a front row – okay. <laughs> she said a front row ticket. No, no, yeah. Who, who, who? Jaden Trinity. Jaden Trinity. Who's Showtime, in other words? Who, 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 who? We, we, we literally have six well, girls that can go off and, we got, and score so double we got, digits. All right, all right, so we got six. Uh, raise your hand. Right quick, let me see. I want six they, hands. They can just get buckets, yeah. Yeah, who, who? It don't have to be scoring. I'm talking about showtime, mate. In other words, when you do something on the court, the crowd go, ooh. So, <laughs> so we got one. We got two, three, four. Coach, it's six. You said it's oh, five. You done made post moves and then made the crowd ooh. Okay, 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 okay. Now, who the hand? Wait a minute. Who, uh, what we call them? The beat the testers. Who to beat the chest? Yeah, yeah. Oh, we got that. That's a beat the chest. We got, we got a beat the chest. We got two beat the chest. I love them beat the chest. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, sometimes I got to get on them about getting back because they high five and they okay. celebrating instead okay. of getting back okay. on defense. And who's the yeah girl? Who's the yeah girl? Now I'm talking about when when the play is made, they clapping hot and yeah. Oh, that, that's the yeah girl. Okay, 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 okay. All right, now, who, who, who's, who leads the chance in the huddles in, uh, on the side? Okay, 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 okay. Uh, who, who, who's the, uh, the team mom of the group? Who, who makes sure everybody? No, I'm talking about out of the players. Oh. Out of the players. Who's, who's the team mom? Who, who makes sure everybody on time? And, uh, make, make sure everybody wear the, wear the right jersey? No, bye. She can say that's the big sister. That's the big sister right there. Make sure y'all early. Wake up. Okay. She keep everybody. You keep everybody in line. That's it. That's your. That's the role you embrace. You keep everybody in line. Okay. Okay. Uh, uh, now who who who's 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 clean? The jerseys are just always perfectly tucked in and and and. The hair. The hair is popped. The hair is always popping, lip gloss or whatever on who's. Charlie, help me. No, Charlie. Look at these personalities, bro. Look at all these personalities. No, they got to ask one of my questions. They seem like they're they, they Okay, all right, all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got, all right, man. Wait a minute. So, all right, so y'all y'all let us know by answering, uh, you know, uh, Jada's mom or whatever. So, who, which one of the parents is, uh, uh, give me a question. Give me. The high parent. Oh, yeah. Who the high parent? My mom. So this is uh this is the hype mom right here, right? Oh, 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 oh. Hey, do, do that chant. Do all the chant. Uh -huh. yeah. Do all the chant. Yeah. Okay, we got a chant. Yeah. Okay. H Y P E. Who get hyped like DC Queen? Nobody. Yeah, yeah, nobody. From up top. H Y P E. Who get hyped like DC Queen? Nobody. You, you, 
cannot do this if you don't have no height, mom. Now, another thing that comes with uh, 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 the, uh, uh, with the parents, huh? one of the parents always got the uh, the best menu for the snacks and, and organizing. Who? All right, all right, here we go, here you go, here you go. So, what's your favorite uh, uh, out of the game snack, or uh, what, what do you what do you do to keep them healthy and, and, and everything? Well, I don't necessarily say it's healthy. Our healthy mom is out there, Miss Shamara. She can't come in. She with a baby boy, but that's our healthy mom out there. However, I'm the snack mom, and as we have, we have a tradition after everything won't be today. They love to go to Cane. So whatever okay. they normally ask right. for, I try to come through with it and, and, and make sure you're happy for the girls. Okay, okay. Um, you got the nice shirts on, so I know that's a, that's some mom keeps the, the uh, the 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 team clothes clean. Some mom keeps the some mom keeps the team clean and nice and creative. Who is that? That's Shamara. Okay. So okay. this is Shamara's baby, Yaya. Okay. And this okay. is her husband over here, Coach Ant. She's known to keep y'all clean. Then. Yes. Yeah. Okay. okay. What's up? And while you have the mic, um, just tell us uh, what you appreciate about the team. What you appreciate about this group of girls? Honestly, I appreciate the feistiness. I appreciate the attitudes because without it, it, don't, it, it they wouldn't be where they are today. They do it together. They, they Once somebody fall out and had an attitude, somebody coming back behind them saying, hey, come on, we, we got this, let's get this together. Uh, they grind, they keep grinding to the very end. It starts from the from the ding to the dome. We got it, we getting it in. And we right there to support them 100. We, we support Coach Cool. we support Coach Anthony. It's a team effort, so I love everything about it. Um, my biggest thing is how close they are. The girls are super close. Like they already told you guys, like they talk outside of school. Um, it's not just when they're at practice or at games, tournaments, wherever. They talk outside of that. Like the group chats, the, the laughter that they try to give each other. Um, the other big thing for me is that all of our moms are close. We're all Same close. Way. So one goes, we all go. Mm -hmm. That's good. And what's important to you, Mom? What's important for you for your baby? What do you want her to get out of basketball? Um, so Layla's my baby. Um, but all of them are my babies though. Um they know I'm the hype mama like that's gonna be at the games. I'm talking noise to the refs. Um <laughs> if it goes down, that's me. So uh, <laughs> does follow my child because she is on the court the same way but um you know we all are like family we are a team you know if a girl needs their hair done we mama not her next mama got it you know so we make sure our, everybody is together in tech you know and we get a lot of support from all the parents like like jazz and miss keisha said we all on the same page we you know want our girls to have fun we want them to be able to get experiences and they're all sisters you know we do stuff together we make sure they do stuff on and off the court because it's not just about basketball you know it's about just like coach coop said it's about life experiences you get to make memories they just did deja kelly camp for the second year in a row um you know so a lot of different and good things that they experience throughout the year. So I'm definitely looking forward to this fifth grade year. I think the girls are hyped. They ready, um, excited. Uh, we can uh, definitely appreciate this break that we've had, um, but we excited. So, D Damon, real quick, one of the things she said that was important is um, make sure they have fun. Too often people get so competitive and worrying about winning and chasing trophies um, they take the fun out the game. It's too much yelling and screaming at the kids during the game. So the kids not even having fun. And I even had to check myself, you know, at the midway point in the season about just riding them kind of hard and making making sure that I'm not taking the fun out of the game and making sure that they're having fun. Because at, at the time they were fourth graders, nine years old. And if they're not having fun, then why are we out here? You know what I'm saying? So I had to check myself first. Then once we really started getting back to having fun and practice and putting in that work, competing and challenge, holding ourselves accountable, that's why you were able to hear them all speak and talk about some of the weaknesses and things they have to work on. Because I hold them accountable. I'm hard, but I also praise them when they put in the work and do the things they're supposed to do. Because in life, when you, when you put in work, you're going to get rewards. When you don't, negative things are going to happen. Thanks, Mom. Come on, T. What do you love about this team and what's important to you? Everything they said. <laughs> Everything they said. So um, my baby is uh, Peyton. Um, what's important to me is, like I said, the unity that the girls have. I love their closeness. I love that they can tell each other, hey, you did this wrong, but we're going to fix this. So I like that they can be able to, you know, tell each other about e each other without, you know, being any friction or I'm mad at you and things like that. So 
And I love these girls right here. These these my girls, the other moms, the dads out here, like the dads, they be holding us down, they be pulling yeah, us back yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> when we get too high. Um, and Coach Coop, you know, he take out the time individually to work with the girls. Um, for me personally, I could, you know, thank Coop all the time because he took the time out to work with my baby. So I just love the unity of the team. Yeah, on family. They, they let me get in the ass. Yeah, Swift, man, I, uh, I, I've learned a lot about, uh, about this group, uh, not just the players, uh, uh, the coaching staff, the parents, the whole family, man. This is, uh, uh, I'm, I'm glad that they took the time out and gave us a chance to uh, bring them on the podcast. Uh, I mean, this is, this is amazing. It, just, it, it made me want to go out and get some third graders, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, 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 it's, 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 I just feel like uh, the reward factor uh, is uh, is really there? Uh, these young girls are, are they just they still love the game. Mm -hmm. They they still love the game. The parents still love it uh, and everything. Uh, Coach Coop is doing a great job and everything. And I just uh, you know I just want to commend them, uh, the parents uh, and, and especially you know the players. You know you guys are, are, are doing a remarkable job. Uh, it's very important. It is not about all all about the W's, but. At the same time, uh, there's a reason why the score is kept. So the objective before you know any anything begins is to win, uh, and they haven't lost sight of that. But at the same time, it's a family. You know, it's a family atmosphere. The, the, the moms are involved. They they got their roles that they embrace. They 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 keep them clean, uh, created with t-shirts and. Uh, snacks and stuff after the game. They go on the road. They have a good time. They that they got you know. Before game and after game activities. I mean, this man, it's yeah. it's rewarding, man. I can see why they, you know, um, mm -hmm. what'd you say, thirty-two and two? I just only lost two this year. Two during the spring and summer, yeah. Yeah, just only only lost. I can see why. It's, I mean, it, in order to win, you gotta you gotta be a family, and uh, this is a family right here. That's true. I mean, you can't have a healthy program without healthy parents, and and I'm impressed with the parents. And what I like about it is, I like their personalities. You know, they they're allowed to to be themselves. You hear the ones that say, "Hey, I'm gonna get on the rails. I'm I'm gonna get. Hey, I'm gonna have to keep the girls count. Hey, and I'm down for mine. You know. But at the same time, you know. Hey, when we need to be held back, you know, we got some daddies out there and some other moms that go bring us back a notch. So, you know, I like these girls' personalities. You can see the young professionals in them, even though they're, you know, shy or, you know, some of them not all the way mature mentally, and, and that's expected at this age. So when y'all make mistakes, that's, that's understood because at this age, we're immature. We're immature and we're still learning. So it's okay to mess up, it's okay to make mistakes. But um, yeah, like like you said, Corey, this is just this is a great program. Um, extremely impressed with the closeness of the parents. Um, you got coaches that back them up, and it's just it's just lovely to see. Yeah. yeah so I, I thank y'all for coming to the Baseline Talk podcast. Corey, go take us out of here. But these girls was phenomenal today. Man, before we get out of here, man, I just, you know, uh, I'm not going to learn it, but I'm going to try my, I wanted to kind of be stuck in my head. Y'all just give me one of them DC Queen chants or whatever, just <laughs> before we get on up out of here. Just some, one of your favorite chants. Just give, give, give a baseline talk podcast listeners. Uh, Y'all just crank up one of your little chants right quick. Nation, uh, the third week in September. Third week, we there. The baseline talk podcast is gonna be right there. So and if we you gonna, want that uh, smoke, come get it. And we gonna we gonna be right there with our remote mic. So 
You know, if y'all don't mind, parents, we're going to mic them up on the baseline, talk to them uh, after the game, yeah. and maybe at halftime or something. Man, y'all got hype, man. But uh, yeah. a Baseline Talk podcast listeners, man, y'all can just do us a favor, man. If y'all like content like this, create content that we bring to you guys, we just ask that you click the like, share, and subscribe button, man, and just help that algorithm go up to the top so we can keep bringing this stuff back to you. It's uh, free. Anything you want to take us out with, Swift? Uh, no, I just wanted to say welcome. We appreciate y'all. Hey, we're going to love y'all. We're going to support y'all. And, and Kane's, y'all need to hear these girls a deal, man, because they love Kane. So, so we need Kane's to endorse and sponsor these young ladies that's right, right here. That's right. That's cool. right. Uh, Coach Mike, anything you want to take us out with? And shout out anything, nah, just, bro? Uh, parents, thank y'all for having us out. Uh, thank you, parents, for all the support. Thank you, ladies, for buying in and trusting me. All right? And keeping me from getting a head full of gray hairs. <laughs> <laughs> well, hey, thank you, parents, man. Thank y'all, uh, uh, DC Queens uh, family and everything. This has been wonderful. Appreciate y'all. Talk my sh Ay, yeah, yeah. You know I'ma talk my sh Ay, ay, yeah. You know I'ma talk my sh Ay, if you want a problem, come on. Then come get it.